just some basic definitions of a computer program. So a program is really just a sequence of instructions. Uh, instructions are designed or given by programmers like yourself. So computer is really, really fast, but if they don't have a program or instructions to tell them what to do, they're really kind of dumb, right? Because they don't know what to do. Not yet anyway. Um, I'm not saying that it may not get smarter. You don't know, we can't rule that out, but for now, Computers are pretty dumb, um, but they are really fast. So you as a programmer are responsible for writing the instructions. So when you write instructions, we call it coding or writing the program. And when you write programs, it's usually written in plain text, okay? Just plain regular text. And then you have a, a special compiler or a program to compile, convert your code to uh, zeros and ones, okay? Um, we can have a single instruction to millions of millions of lines of code to run a program. Um, let's go over here. <clears throat> I don't have the other slide to show you, but uh, most languages are categorized under many dimensions. Okay, uh, one of these dimensions is high level languages versus low level languages. And most computer languages today are high level languages. They high level because they are written in a language that we can understand, like you know, plain English uh, languages, language text, uh, sentences or phrases or words that we know. Uh, you know, it's much easier than zero one zero zero one, right? If you, our, our my our memory or capacity is not uh, capable of memorizing that, you know, many digits. So but we can read words, so therefore it's a high level language. The higher the lang language, the slower the language and processing time, because everything must be compiled, converted back down to binary numbers, zeros and ones. So that's why these are actually slower than if you were to write a program in assembly language, which is a very low level language, uh, almost written in like zeros and ones. It's really complex to write, but it's much faster because you don't have to convert uh, those code as much as you do with a high level language. But nowadays we have like super machines that can do so fast, it's almost um, indistinguishable. So uh, just keep in mind that probably 99% of, lang of languages today are written in our high level languages, okay? Um, <clears throat> so what else we talked about here? Uh, yeah, I didn't say here, but um, let's look at this. You know, uh, Python is also a, um, a case sensitive language. So if you write a keyword, um, <clears throat> like a uh, uh, capital J or capital lowercase J, they mean different things to Python. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, we'll talk about more of that next when we start writing code. Okay, <clears throat> uh, okay let's go down here. This is a very common. Uh, theme in all programs or all program languages. When you write a program, I wouldn't say that not only program, but a processing, like even manufacturing, right? Or when you construct a, an object, build a house, you follow this kind of similar process called input process output, or I usually call it the IPO, um, <clears throat> right? So when you write a program, you need to have some type of input to feed into that program. With a computer. And once the input has been received, then the computer will process that input, whatever that is. And then once you process the formation, then you need to output it, right? So input, process, output. This sequence is really, really simple, but um, you have to really understand this really simple process to write code. As you get, uh, as, as you get more complex later, I will always refer back to this simple logic here, input, process, output. So when you read an input from the keyboard, that's an input. Once you receive the input from the keyboard, like you press a letter J, what do you do with that J, right? That's the processing part. After you process the J, what happens after that? You want to display something to the user so you get a feedback from, from, the, from the program so you know what's going on. It's always in that logic, either the big program itself or tiny sub programs in the program itself, right? It's always like that. Um, so this is the order of how, of how, how things occur, okay? 
orders of how things occur or process inside a program or machine. How you design it is different, okay? It's still the same keywords, input, process, output, but the order is a little bit different. So this is for the input. Um, and here again, example, you take an input here, either from a keyboard, uh, um, a mouse click, if you were talking about smartphones, a swipe, um, a, a voice, uh, you know, a motion sensor, right? All those stuff are uh, input, even like in a printer, right? Input. You process the data, data, and then you output that information here. 